Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video and this one is titled My wife had a year-long affair that I discovered. Trying to reconcile with me, I'm still undecided. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. Hello all, this might be quite long. I'm posting this from my friend's place where I'll be for a few days at least before going to a hotel for a while. Unfortunately, I discovered that this sub exists after having something done to me that I never thought in a million years would ever happen. My wife of three years has been having an affair for a year with a colleague of hers. I know him personally. I found out through her Gmail account on her laptop, which was left logged in. I had zero intention of checking her email. I just saw it there and the text caught my eye. After this, I checked her phone and confirmed everything. I'm not going to lie, this kind of blindsided me. We have, or I guess had, a good relationship. We were regularly intimate, never really got angry at each other. We met in college and dated for almost two years before getting married. We were thinking of having kids in a year or two now that I have a good paying job and have been progressing in my career. I actually wasn't suspicious at all. She's intelligent and clearly did well to cover her tracks. She never came home late at night or acted distant slash cold with me or not been intimate with me. Not once did she tell me she was feeling unsatisfied or unhappy in our relationship. I had no idea anything was wrong at all or I would have tried to fix it. Through her texts slash emails, I saw that they usually got together during their lunch breaks, or they leave work early and go to a hotel slash motel. The other guy isn't married, but he does have a long-term girlfriend. Haven't told her yet. Haven't spoken to the other guy either. I took the day off work yesterday, left a note on the table for my wife and I left from my friend's place. I told him everything. Sure enough, when she got home, she called slash texted several times. I didn't answer at first, but I did eventually, and she immediately started crying hysterically and pleading me for forgiveness, saying it was a stupid mistake and she will do anything to reconcile. We talked for a while, but I didn't really say anything of substance and I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do. I'm not going to lie, I love her, but I can't stand betrayal of any kind, and this is up there. The thing is, when I was 18, I fell into a very dark depression, and it was the hardest thing in the world to pull myself out of. It took me three years. The only thing that helped was exercise slash boxing, and now I feel myself slipping back into that hole. And as much as I love her, I also feel an intense hatred for her and the other guy. I'm debating confronting the other guy and badly hurting him. But my friend has insisted that I don't. I know my emotions are controlling me right now, which is why I wanted to be away from my wife and our apartment for a while, so I can allow logic to at least get a foothold in my brain. I know if I see her crying, I'll start to feel sympathy for her, which I don't want to. Right now, my logical part says to divorce her, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I have thought about it, if I ever am to trust her again, and I think the answer is no. Here's the thing, I consider myself to be a fair person, and I always try to see both sides of the coin. I was looking around forums of infidelity, and I came across r slash adultery. I thought it would be similar to this sub, quickly found out it was the opposite. However, I read through a few posts hoping I could try and understand my wife's reasoning. Most of the posts were about the thrill of something new, the satisfaction, trying to escape the unhappiness in their marriage, etc. The thing is, I'm not just saying this, I can't see how we had any of these problems. My wife was always intelligent and mature which is why, no matter how hard I try, I can't understand this. She repeatedly told me over the phone that it meant nothing 
and she regrets it more than anything. But then why do it? I asked her why and she just kept saying she doesn't know and it was a lapse in judgment, etc. A year long lapse in judgment? I'm questioning everything now. Wondering if I've wasted years for nothing. Wondering if I'll ever trust another woman again. At the moment, I can't see myself ever being in a relationship again. I'm not naive enough to think people are infallible. But what's the point of committing yourself to someone if you're just going to find someone else? Anyway, that's it. I had to let all this out somewhere, even online. Not sure yet what my next step is. But at the moment, I can't see the marriage lasting. Her mother, whom I really like, has called me thrice but I haven't answered. I haven't told anyone about it except my close friend and I'm staying with him. I do have screenshots of the emails slash text between them as proof in case I need it. And the OP has some edits for us. Thanks for all your comments and time everyone. I really do appreciate it a lot. Few things that have come up repeatedly. I have decided not to fight the other guy. It was just my emotions getting the best of me at that time. I will be getting an STD test and telling her to do the same. No compromise there. At the moment, I am leaning towards separating because I can't see how I will ever look at her the same way again. I still need some time to think, but will have to have a long talk with her. Her mother has since messaged me asking to please call her. She's a very good person and was very motherly throughout my time knowing her, so I will be calling her to talk to her soon, before I talk to my wife. Really, thanks to all of you. I actually hate that there are so many comments because that means so many of you men and women had this happen to you. Posting this here and telling my story is helping me release it all, and I will give you all an update when there is one. And the OP has a quick update for us. So yesterday, I went for a long walk and called back my mother-in-law. I didn't go into details, but I did mention that her daughter was seeing someone else behind my back for an extended period of time. She was understandably very upset and thankfully didn't try to force my hand into staying with my wife. We talked for a while and she asked me to give my wife a call, but I said I'll only do so when I'm ready to talk. I was walking over a bridge on my way back to my friend's place, and I'm not going to lie, for a split second, I thought of jumping off. Told myself it would make things a lot easier. I let go of that thought immediately and kind of laughed. It's crazy what our minds can come up with. Anyway, I think either tonight or tomorrow night I will sit down with my wife and talk. I'm afraid of my mind is 99% made up, and I'll be asking for a divorce as I haven't been able to see any outcome where I won't be resentful towards her if we stay together. I would let her tell me everything she feels she has to say, and then will tell her my decision. I will post an update after we talk I guess, depending. Thank you guys for watching, please comment below and let me know if there's any other subreddits you guys would like me to make videos on, and also like the video and please subscribe.